Salute, folks. It's your boy, the insurance junkie, your fiduciary fella, the all-star advisor, Alonzo Hall. And I've returned today to wrap and tap on your head with another ADH Wealth Solution. Before I go in, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you hit that like, drop a comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're made aware every time I release new content. And as always, share, share, share. Lastly, to contribute to channel growth or to schedule an appointment with a licensed financial professional, the links are in the description of this video. So as we proceed to give you what you need, today I want to talk about a couple things. I was watching a video from my man, VPB Money Man, and he was talking about lazy black people. And then I was scrolling through and, you know, unfortunately, I still have some of this Manosphere algorithm going on in my um, channel. The Manosphere is a double-edged sword. Unfortunately, the black Manosphere. Uh, unfortunately, you've got a lot of uh, lazy Negroes in the black Manosphere who don't want to do nothing other than, you know, review Kevin Samuels stuff, but they don't even embody what Kevin Samuels embodied because they don't do a quarter of the shit he did, like uh, stay with their image or anything. Like simply put, wearing a sweater or a suit and tie, right? Or they'll wear a suit and tie for their image for their podcast TV show, but then they're back in Jordan's the very next, you know, hour, right? Um, so we're going to be talking about Lazy black people in, as, on a whole. And then I also want to talk about some of these dudes from this Manosphere stuff. Because there's a dude. There's these dudes out here. Right now. And I'm going to see if I can link the video. Um, in this. But he's upset. Because, you know. Keisha didn't want you. Uh, when they were in their oh, shit. Keisha didn't want a lot of guys when they, the Keisha was in her prime. And yes, that's true. Keisha didn't want certain guys when Keisha was in her prime. She wanted Pookie and Ray Ray, supposedly. But you guys complaining about fucking Pookie and Ray Ray are very ridiculous. Number one, Pookie and Ray Ray did have something that you don't have, which is confidence. Now, a woman was like, oh, well, you know, it's not fun to be around regular guys. No, I'm not talking about fun. I'm talking about confidence. Okay? Confidence means you're secure, uh, you know... Uh, you act a certain way. You carry yourself a certain way. Um, but it also shows that a lot of you guys are complaining about Keisha having been with Pookie and Ray Ray. This guy was like, oh, Pookie and Ray Ray and this, that, and the third. Yo, if Pookie and Ray Ray is your biggest competition, that's a problem. You don't hear the guys. You don't hear rich white guys talking about Bulk and Scully, Right? You know, here, you know, oh yeah, man, you're yeah, Chad and Brad, man, Chad and Brad. Oh, they're not, they're not complaining about Chad and Brad, right? But we're complaining about Pookie and Ray Ray. So that means that black men have no power because we can't defeat motherfucking Pookie and Ray Ray, right? Pookie and Ray Ray are supposed to be the bottom of our society, yet you got all these black men running around crying about Pookie and Ray Ray. Well, if you're supposed to be an excellent black man, Pookie and Ray Ray should not be bothering you. So what that means to me is that a lot of you black men, number one, secretly want to be Pookie and Ray Ray, Number two, secretly admire Pookie and Ray Ray. And number three, are fucking afraid of Pookie and Ray Ray, which is why you're mad at the girls for picking Pookie and Ray Ray. Right? But yes, they pick Pookie and Ray Ray while they're young. You know why they pick Pookie and Ray Ray while they're young? Because while we're young, as men and as older men, we do dumb shit like praise Pookie and Ray Ray. What do I mean? So there's a nigga who is... Who was running around um, social media talking about he had seven babies' mothers, but he wanted them all to get abortions and blah, 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 blah. I told them girls I ain't want them kid. And the men blaming women for allowing him to sleep with them. I get it. You know, it is kind of foolhardy to be like, oh, this guy got five babies, mothers, I'm going to be six and he's going to change. That's stupid as shit. Don't get me wrong. Women do that. And that is stupid as shit. But men. The men are running around 
and they're giving him kudos like the women should have chose better really okay well why don't we not praise this motherfucker for knocking up seven different women especially if he don't take care of his kids i know dudes who got knocked up a bunch of women they do take care of their kids i say to them too bro which one you gonna make your wife like you know what i'm saying you, you gotta you out here fucking all these chicks yo settle down with one or if not take care of all of them because i know dudes who are taking care of all their women as well but you guys are mad at pookie and ray ray who can't take care of all their women But they sure enough can physically get to them or get the attraction to them, right? I realize that a lot of guys' problem tends to be actually getting the women. But a lot of guys' problem is getting the woman that they want. It's not just getting the woman, right? And you guys are sounding like these women because you want the woman to... Conform to what it is that you want And that's cool But you gotta get the type of woman That is about that Right? If you get the type of woman That is about Pookie and Ray Ray Then you can't be mad Now, let's go further Because again, a lot of these guys I'm gonna see if I can post that original video Because he's holding the women Hell accountable But I was on a panel with a man the other day and we were talking about how and why black men love to be in these certain uh, predicaments where we look a certain way, et cetera, et cetera, right? And we look 22. And he says, it seems like we appreciate the niggardry uh, all the time. And I was like, yeah, that does seem true. Um, where the heck did I park? Uh, so... You know, I was like, yeah, that does seem true. Uh, all too often. Here I parked. <laughs> all too often. But another thing that I found out that's very true is men keep getting mad at these women who pick Pookie and Ray Ray as if these women are the women that they really want. Right? Because these women who pick Pookie and Ray Ray likely aren't the type or caliber of woman that you're going to want. It's not a woman that you're going to be able to bring to, you know, the... Uh, the governor's ball. It's not a woman that you're going to... Uh, like I said, you're not bringing her to the governor's ball, right? You're not bringing her to your mayoral candidate dinner. So, if you dress a certain way, guess what you're going to attract? You're going to attract the woman who likes Pookie and Ray Ray. So, if you're, you know, polo down to the socks, Gucci outfitted back, hat, hat to the back... And then you're like, these here women, they keep picking Pookie and Ray Ray. Why did they pick Pookie and Ray Ray? Why don't they pick a good man like me? Well, bro, you're dressed like fucking Pookie and Ray Ray. Right? If you dress like a fucking grown-ass man, maybe you'll attract a different caliber of woman. But you don't want that caliber of woman. You want the woman that wants Pookie and Ray Ray. Because you want to be Pookie and Ray Ray. So now you're mad at Pookie and Ray Ray for being Pookie and Ray Ray and not allowing you to actually be Pookie and Ray Ray or to be perceived like Pookie and Ray Ray. Which is why, just like with Kevin Samuels, when I went on my Facebook and posted that grown-ass men should be wearing suits, I had grown-ass men like your your guy, Mr. Lucario. Oh, well, it's lucky a grown-ass man can wear whatever he wants and doesn't think about what a man thinks. Okay, yeah, this is true, and this is why black men have the knees on our neck. Everybody puts their knees on our fucking neck because nobody can take us serious because we don't take ourselves serious. We want to run around in Jordans all fucking day at 42 years old. Why do you think nobody takes your black ass serious? Because you're 42 dressing like you're 22. Yeah. And then you wonder why everybody has their knee on the neck of black men. Well, take yourself serious, brother. And then maybe somebody won't have their knee on our neck. But you guys want to cry about how Keisha wants Pookie and Ray Ray. Yet you want Keisha. Why don't you try Tammy or Tabitha? And I'm not talking about white girls. Um, you can still get the regular, you know, uh, sister that you want. 
But again, you guys have to dress accordingly. If you're dressing for the girl who likes Pookie and Ray Ray, you're going to keep getting the girl who likes Pookie and Ray Ray. You're going to keep getting the situation of Pookie and Ray Ray. You're going to keep getting the results of Pookie and Ray Ray because you look like Pookie and Ray Ray. If you just up your style a little bit, change the Jordans to some regular jeans, some straight leg jeans, not some Balenciagas. Wear some Levi 501s or 514s, straight leg bootleg cut jeans, right? When you're wearing the sneakers, they don't need to be the color waves. Simple black or white sneakers. Don't do dumb shit like smoke cigarettes. This is one of the dumbest fucking things on earth that I'm doing right now. It's a waste of money and everything. But unfortunately, I'm addicted. But dumb shit like this will get you stuck with Starkeisha. Because this is dumb shit. At any rate, ladies and gentlemen... It's your boy, the insurance junkie, your fiduciary fella, the all-star advisor of Alonzo Hall. Now return today to Weapon Tap on your head with another ADH Wolf solution. If you enjoyed the content, make sure you hit that like, drop a comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're made aware every time I release new content. And as always, share, share, share. Lastly, to contribute to channel growth or to schedule an appointment with a licensed financial professional, the links are in the description of this video. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, wipe ass. Work in progress every day and see success. Wipe ass. Work in progress every day and see success. Wipe ass. Work in progress every day and see success. And remember, folks, when people challenge you, they don't challenge you to challenge you, but they challenge you to challenge you. Accept the challenge. Salute.